Tim and Sophie, since Lynn Dobson founded the business in 1974, nearly 100 organs have been built for churches and performance venues around the world. And today's groundbreaking is a great indication that there's more organs on the way. So there was just this tremendous sense of loss afterward, but really at no time did it occur to me that we wouldn't rebuild. I know it was a long process, but where everyone is so happy that they chose to stay in this community and they've just been a part of the community for so long that everyone's happy. In June of 2021, the Dobson Pipe Organ Builders location in Lake City suffered catastrophic damage from a fire. But now, two years later, there's a reason to celebrate. It's pretty exciting, really, to see that we're actually starting on our new building here so that we can, you know, be all together. I mean, it, with the two years of being in all these different spaces, it's been really hard to work as a cohesive team. And it was no pipe dream. Countless hours of planning was also needed to gather all the specialty equipment that was destroyed in the fire. Immediately after the fire, we used the uh, workshop of Paul Iverson, a former employee, and that bought us some time to be able to put together uh, new tools for our workshop spaces. Um, we were very fortunate to be able to make an arrangement with two different organ builders that were retiring. Um, both of whom sold us workshop equipment, uh, woodworking tools, specialized things for organ building. The new workshop, located on the same plot of land as the previous building, will be more than 16,000 square feet. It's going to all be built on one level, unlike our old building, which had multiple levels and was kind of inefficient. Um, so uh, we're looking forward to getting into this. It's a little smaller than our old building, but it's going to be more efficiently laid out. And construction is expected to be complete in August 2024. But it couldn't have happened without so much support from the local community, with people coming forward with buildings that they could make available to us. People all over the world sent notes that they're praying for us, that they sent us money. Uh, it was just an amazing outpouring of support that came to this little town of 1800 in northwest Iowa. It's a fairly close community, so you know we all stick together and we take care of each other. You know everybody's willing to help out with, with whatever they can do. Panning also told me that the new erecting room where the organs get set up will be 15 feet taller than the original, making room for more elaborate and larger organs in the future. Reporting in Lake City, Jason Taktagian, KCAU 9 News.